Hi math leads. today we're going to talk about decimals, in particular expanded form. In order to understand expanded form, we're going to take a look back at standard form and make sure we know what that is. Standard form is the traditional way a decimal is written. For example, 67 and 3 tenths, 8 and 29 hundredths, and 10 and 6 tenths are all examples of standard form. It's what you're used to. Expanded form, on the other hand, shows the place value of each digit in a decimal. In a sense, you're breaking the decimal apart and writing it as one sum. In order to expand, ex excuse me, in order to understand expanded form, let's take a look at some examples. If I give you the decimal in standard form, zero and 34 hundredths, I can rewrite it in expanded form by breaking apart the three and the four. I still need to respect their place values though. So I write it as three tenths plus four hundredths. The three is in the tenths place here and the four is in the hundredths place here. In the expanded version of the decimal, they have the same place values, but I replace the three with a zero. Each term in the expanded form should only contain one non-zero number. You can check on your calculator or by hand that 0 and 3 tenths plus 0 and 4 one hundredths equals our original decimal 0 and 34 hundredths. These are two forms of the exact same number. Let's try another one. Here I have 0 and this is the tenths place, hundredths place, thousands place, ten thousands place, so it's 0 and 1,234 ten thousandths. Again, I'm going to write it in expanded form. Each term in my expanded form decimal will only have one of these non-zero numbers. So let's look. In the tenths place, I have one tenth. It's right here. In the hundredths place, I have two one hundredths. That's here. I've replaced the one that came before the two with a zero. In the thousands place, I have three thousands. I've repl replaced the one and the two with zeros. And in the ten thousands place, I have four ten thousands. Here I've replaced the one, two, and three all with zeros. And I can see that I want to add in a zero here to my notes. Sorry about that. So let's take a look in expanded form. All we're doing is adding all of these numbers together. You leave it added like this. You do not solve it. If you were going to add these numbers and solve it, we'd be back where we started and that wouldn't do us any good. So this is the expanded form. Here are some examples. I'd like you to pause the video and try to write these numbers in expanded form. Let's go through the answers. 9 and 45 hundredths can be written as 9 plus 4 tenths plus 5 one hundredths. All of these numbers are in the same place as they were in the original decimal. 21 hundredths can be written as 2 tenths plus 1 one hundredth. I've replaced the 2 with a 0 in the second term. This number, 8 and 878 thousandths, can be rewritten as 8 plus 8 tenths plus 7 hundredths plus 8 thousandths. Here I've replaced the first 8 right here, the first 8 in the decimal with a 0, and here I've replaced the 8 7 with two zeros. All of these numbers are still in their original place. The last example, 0 and 3,911 ten thousandths can be written as 3 tenths plus 9 hundredths plus 1 thousandth plus 1 one thousandths. If you want to check any of these sums on your calculator or by hand, you should get these original four numbers. Again, your answers in expanded form 
are these numbers with the plus signs in them. Don't solve the problem, you will be back where you started.